roughly five miles southwest of UW Whitewater, on Highway 59, is an Enbridge oil pump station. This station pumps thousands of gallons of oil through what is known as Pipeline 61 every day. Many in the area do not know that this pipeline is being expanded in the near future. The Line 61 exists. It was put on the ground in 2007 and 2008. And what they're doing is expanding its capacity and going from carrying 400,000 barrels per day to through two phases to 1.2 million barrels per day. The oil that is being refined is known as tar sands. This kind of oil needs many chemicals in order to be able to flow through pipe 61. Tar sand is a dirtier form of oil, uh, basically scraping the bottom of the barrel. Uh, you have to treat it with a chemical to extract the oil from it. That heavy crude is long molecular chains that make it really thick and they add these lighter oils that allow it to be less viscous and move through the pipeline. The company that owns Pipeline 61 is Enbridge, based out of Alberta, Canada. Enbridge uses the pipeline in order to move the oil to places where it can be refined and used. Unfortunately, Enbridge has the largest oil spill in North American history. About three years ago, there was a massive spill on the Kalamazoo River, which was a multi-billion dollar cleanup, and it still has not been cleaned up to the satisfaction and that will never be the same as it once was. If Whitewater and the surrounding areas were to experience a pipeline burst, there could be many repercussions environmentally and health related. A lot of people don't know about this pipeline and that it could be affecting their water and putting toxic chemicals into their water that they drink. These are areas that Native American uh, groups in Canada live in, they've been exposed to a lot of these chemicals and their incidence of cancer uh, is like 10 times what um, normal communities would be exposed to. So environmentalists have said, if we take all these tar sands out and burn them, it's gonna mean a tremendous increase in the CO2 in the atmosphere. So um, one of the broad long-term impacts that people are concerned about is climate change. Although Enbridge is not breaking any rules, another major problem is the regulations from the Pipeline and Hazardous Materials Safety Administration or known as PEMSA. Now what most people don't realize is that PEMSA, like a lot of federal agency, has ha agencies has had its funding uh, cut. They have very few field inspectors. And if you look at the inspection record through time for Enbridge, it's declined. And the oversight of that company by both state and federal agencies, that's where I think we're being let down. We did contact Enbridge for this story, but unfortunately they did decline to comment. It is said that sending oil through a pipeline is the safest way for oil to travel, but that remains with a lot of skepticism. Reporting from Whitewater with UWW-TV, I'm Alex Urban.